For every parent, having a sick child is the worst experience you can probably ever imagine. If you think you're having a rough day, consider what little Skylar Isaacson has been through. Doctors say he is not supposed to be here right now, but he is. Well, this week, we meet a mother and son team who cheated death and are now paying it forward to help those who helped them. We'd like to introduce you to Crystal and Super Skylar. Today, six-year-old Skylar Isaacson is a bundle of energy. I didn't know you could go that high. But just two years ago, Skylar's future was very grim. He would get these random bruises all over his body that I just couldn't explain. When Crystal took Skylar to the hospital, her worst fears came true. On August 17, 2010, worst day of my life, <laughs> Skylar was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The news from the doctors was devastating, especially for this young mom who recently lost Skylar's father. Two years before Skylar was diagnosed, I actually lost my husband to, um, he had a heart tumor that no one knew about, so he passed away suddenly. Skylar was quickly admitted into Primary Children's Medical Center for cancer treatments, but the powerful chemotherapy drugs made matters even worse. His body just couldn't handle it and he developed tumor lysis which totally shut down his kidneys. Then came the infections. The fungal infection spread throughout his entire body and five of his organ systems failed. What was supposed to be a week-long stay in the hospital turned into five months. I think the worst part about it for me is um, I had to just sit there and watch him suffer and know there's nothing that I could have done to make him better. In a drug-induced coma, Skyler nearly lost his battle to live when his blood pressure dropped to dangerous levels. He told me that night that he wasn't going to make it, and so he said to bring everybody and say your goodbyes. It was an agonizingly slow turning point. He slowly, slowly got better. Skyler's tenacity to fight his cancer earned him the nickname Super Skyler from his nurses. He's amazing. He has used throughout his treatment 184 blood and platelet transfusions. To celebrate his sixth birthday, Skyler and his mom held a blood drive, bringing in nearly 60 units of blood for Primary Children's Medical Center. And this year we've already lost quite a few of Skyler's cancer buddies, so it'll be a hard one. This summer they will host a huge walk and a party to raise money for Cure Search, which funds childhood cancer research. He's here celebrating another birthday because of them, and so we want to help make us other people have more birthdays. We think this mother and son team is perfect for our Pay It Forward segment, so Crystal and Skyler meet Marshall Papke of Mountain America Credit Union. We're so thrilled with what you're doing to give back to the community that we wanted to pay it forward in Skyler. We have $500 here to help your cause, pay it forward. So we want to give that to you. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you one. You know, you may have noticed that Skylar's a bit shy around strangers. You know, that's because strangers usually mean for him needles and more painful treatments. Now, Skylar still goes to chemo treatments once a month. And that's going to last for another year and a half. You can read all of Skyler's amazing stories on his blog, and you can learn more about the upcoming Cancer Search Walk. All you have to do is go to our website at KUTV.com, click on Pay It Forward, and while you're there, you can nominate someone you know who is doing great things in our community.